Hi everyone and welcome to today's video. Another Estabrook product today, this is the double pen nook uh, in navy um, and I'm going to show the features and stuff, show a few pens in it, talk about some pros and cons and uh, yeah, it should be fun. So Estabrook, uh, as a lot of you would know, it says on the front there, Estabrook established uh, 1856 or 1858, I can't quite read it. I can't remember it off the top of my head. Um, 1858. Um, it, Estabrook, they were one of the big pen companies um, in the first half of the 20th century, particularly. 1940s and 50s, they were at their absolute peak. Then uh, the company went out of business and then another someone else took it over and uh, didn't quite produce things at a high enough quality. And then uh, Kenro Industries took it over and have uh, had it for the last couple of years since I think 2018 and have done really lovely stuff. Introduced a few great pens like the SD and more recently the JR Pocket Pen. But they also have a range of pen nooks and sleeves and stuff as well. And that's what we're looking at today so let's have a look at this one so this is the plain cardboard box it comes in and uh here is the pen nook itself so this is as i said this is the navy uh and they used to do their pen nooks in this sort of brown tan sort of material um and all the material is uh, vegan friendly synthetic leather um and uh they used to do them in these this sort of color and they had a, like a little draw system where you would sort of remove you know the, the the draw from the little hard cover and they've done a redesign and i think this is a really really strong move by the company so um basic sort of parts and features let's go over it so it's this synthetic as i said synthetic vegan leather the, the sticker on the back there does say case made in china um they are a us you know design brand and you know distributed and all those sorts of things this particular one doesn't have a draw like the draw would be pulled out you know from the side on the on the former model this navy one has this little magnetic clip which opens up and reveals the actual can i get i can get that all in the frame how wonderful um the little pen slots there uh, and this is the double pen look so this holds two pens obviously um so it's that little side goes down and then the top folds over and then the magnet in the little clasp there, which has the uh, Estabrook Eternity logo on it, uh, sits on there. Um, so it is. So the, to the, the top is soft. It's got a hard ba base underneath it, but the top is sort of plush and that's nice. And it's in embossed there with Estabrook established 1858. The sides are harder and more sort of, and lesser, well, less plush really like they don't have that sort of softer padding underneath the, the material um and this case is strong and protective um there are a few things i think are uh not issues but i'll discuss as you know down the line but let's just look at these features still so it's all the stitching is done with uh, red thread as you can see and it's all very nicely done uh and it's, you know, the lines are all straight, all those sorts of things, which is what you would expect. The stud there, of course, is magnetic. So also being magnetic, it's never going to wear out. You're never going to, um, like some clips, you know, like you wear the material away. Magnets just don't do that. Magnet will always stick. Um, then you get the little flaps, as I said, which are, seem to be like glued in there. Um, so not stitched through. Uh, and then you get this sort of red uh, lining, which is sort of printed with the uh, Estabrook logo there as well. The edges are hard, as is the back of the, the flap. There's a little elastic that runs through, so it runs through a hole in there. So it's one piece of elastic across the entire thing. Uh, and the base is nice and soft. So when the pen is under the elastic, it's on a nice soft bed. These cases are really interesting. As I said, this was the redesign from uh, August 2020, uh, and it's a, I think it's a good redesign. I, I think this method is more compact and more secure than um, having the separate drawer. Um, they come in a range of different styles. So you get a pen sleeve, which is similar to the one I showed in the tan material, 
uh, for a single pen. You can also get a single pen nook like this, as well as nooks for two, three, six, and 12 pens. And the 12 pen one being quite large and having it, once again, they've all got the sort of double flap system and it looks and works and it looks great and works well. So it's a nice design feature. Just a few dimensions for this so that we can sort of get a sense of it before I show some pens in it. It is about 17 centimeters in length, which is a, a good sort of solid length. Uh, it is about four centimeters high and about five centimeters sort of wide. Um, so it's not super big, but it's big enough to be protective of two pens uh, and big enough not to sort of get lost or anything like that, obviously. Um, the internal dimensions, you can fit a pen that is about, about uh, six, inches in there um as it's a 17 centimeter case so you take a couple of you know half a centimeter off on either end um so about 16 centimeter pen as you'll see when i show some pens in there just what that sort of means and the width of the section is about 1.9 per pen and you can't move that center there so that is what you've got to play with and of course you are limited to a degree by the elastic um if you put a big pen under here you might not you'll stretch out the elastic if you put a second big pen in things like that um, it'll be held securely, but about in terms of longevity of the product, um, you know, sort of good things to know. While we're here, let's talk about the price of the double pen nook, and then I'll show some pens in it. So this retails, I, I do a lot of my pricing using one major US retailer, uh, online retailer, because they are a staple of the pen community and um, a lot of people go to this particular retailer for products um, so it's linked down below you know so you can see where it is so this retails at their store for 76 us dollars which for a non-leather product is in the price here and but I'm gonna say, I think a, a case like this is awesome value at that price, even though it's not like real leather. Uh, I think what you are getting is you're getting a product that actually will protect your pens beautifully. Uh, you will get something, you're getting something that um, has a nice look about it. It's a great way to present your pens. Like if you rock up to work and this sits on your desk and you sort of open it up and there are your pens. And I think it's a really, really lovely way of, um, having them around. I think this is a really great case and it is a product I think is absolutely worth its price. And of course the pricing jumps up for the bigger cases as well, as you would expect. Okay, now let's look at some pens in here. So I've got a little range of pens um, that I wanted to show, a couple of different sizes and things. But what I'm gonna do first, of course, as everyone you know does with all of the pen, uh, videos is I'll put a Lamy Safari in there. So you can see there the size of the Lamy Safari in this case. The Lamy Safari is a 140-ish millimeter pen and there's room on either side there with no problem whatsoever. And it's held nice and tight in that elastic. And the, the beauty of the elastic, of course, being that when it's closed up, like the pen isn't moving around or rattling around. It's held nicely in place against that soft bed on the bottom. I wanted to show an Estabrook pen in here, so I've just got my uh, Cobalt Blue Esty, and I'll slide under that elastic, and now that elastic is holding both of those pens nice and secure. Now the Esty is a, a bigger pen, uh, not an oversized pen, but a bigger pen, and that fits beautifully in this case. Um, in fact, I think this is probably one of the, the pens that this case would be designed around. Just that fit is just so snug and perfect. Let's uh, take the Safari out now and let's put um, another Estabrook pen in. Uh, a recent one, um, a one that I adore, love, and have been using nonstop. Uh, it is the JR Pocket Pen. So even a smaller pen in there, once again, it's not a long pen, so there's lots of clearance. Uh, it is held in there nice and secure. It's not gonna go anywhere at all. I wanna show a couple other pens now, just for uh, the sake of the exercise. I'll leave the SD in there, but I wanted to put an even smaller pen in. And so I just got like the Faber-Castell Neo Slim. It's a very slim pen. Um, and it does fit nicely under the elastic uh, and it's held relatively in place. And let's do a bit of a rattle test. So you can hear there's a bit of movement in there with a pen that size, but 
I'm giving it a pretty decent shake there. And that is just because it's a slim pen. Um, let's look at one other pen now, just because it's good to see sort of just what can fit in there. And so what I have here is the Jinhao 159, which is roughly the same dimensions as something like a Mont Blanc 149. Um, and so that goes in and that's where we get the elastic sort of pushed to, not to its capacity of course, but closer. Uh, and that fits beautifully in there. It, you know, like if you put, to, put the clip down, it clears the, the height of it. Um, it fits nicely. And if we put that cap down, like nothing there whatsoever. Um, so it does fit bigger pens. Uh, you are just going to be limited, obviously, as with most cases, by uh, the dimensions. So something like, you know, an Amiki Emperor, for instance, might struggle to fit in a case like this. As I said, probably about um, about 16 centimeters would be the, the 160 millimeters would be the top uh, and 1.9 centimeters, so just under two centimeters in diameter. Let's now talk some pros and cons. So I have like two and a bit cons. You know, the three sort of half cons, I don't think they're necessarily cons. One is the size of it. It is bulky. For two pens, it does add a lot of real estate into your carry. If this is what you've got in your bag, you know, the size of, just grab two of these, you know, like two pens takes up a lot less space. So you are adding a lot of bulk, but you are adding a lot of protection in the same breath. So it's good and bad. Second is the little clasp. It's a strong clasp, it works well. Uh, it's just a little bit fiddly sometimes lining that up. Um, you know, practice makes perfect, I suppose. Uh, but that, you, you know, um, it's not a, like, at least it's not like a, like a push stud that you actually have to like really lock in. It does a little bit of the work for you. Then the last, uh, not even con, the other concern I have is that like, because we have just this rim around here for the cap or the lid to sit on. Like, if pushed down on, like you can see it's not doing it right, but like if this cap, uh, the lid sort of gave in, there we go, there's a little, little buckle there, it falls in and I would hate to think that like the stability of this product would be um, compromised if like, you know, if it, if it something heavy fell on it or if it was sitting in a bag with like heavy books on it or something. Um, I don't think it would damage the pens, but it's just like, it's not a, like these sides are softer in the way, like in the st structurally. Um, uh, so that would be for me the weak spot in terms of the uh, the construction quality, not quality, but like, um, yeah, just something to be aware of. But the pros, firstly, great protection for your pens. Um, not that you, I would or I would suggest doing this, but like you can put a fair amount of weight on the top there. And if you weren't, a, if you were looking at it purely for protection, not just for like presentation, that would protect your pens if for say something very heavy got dropped on it or um, you know, you accidentally tread on it or something like that. Um, it is gonna protect your pens pretty well. I do like the plushness of the internal um, cover there. Uh, like hard cover on the top, but it's held in by elastic, so it's held down onto that soft bed. And the material of the, the red material there with the logo on it is nice and soft, so I don't think it's gonna scratch your pens or anything like that. Um, and it's just a nice sort of plush, easy cover for uh, your pens. Um, the other pro, I think, is that it is a unique, cool design. Like, I think it's a really nice way of, of carrying your pens and presenting them. You absolutely could take this out in a professional meeting, uh, you know, out of your nice little briefcase or satchel or something like that and uh, have your pens ready to go. Um, and it's also a big improvement, I think, on the drawer system, um, having to pull out that drawer from the, the base, you know, to retrieve your pens. And they also weren't held as securely in the old design either. The elastic is a good move here. Um, so I really quite like this, the uh, double pen nook from Estabrook. I think it's a nice... A nice product. I think it's a good uh, design. I love the fact that Estabrook are taking time to make cases that aren't just like a zip up, you know, case that you you know put, slide your pens into an elastic loop. This is um, the pen nook system, the old ver version and even this version are designed to protect your pens and just be an interesting sort of slightly retroy sort of feel, um, you know, design that is a nice way to present your pens, a nice way to look after them. 
So this was the double pen nook from Estabrook. Thank you, Kenro, for sending this out uh, for review. Um, I hope you found this video interesting and useful. If you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Hit the notifications button if you want to stay up to date with the videos that I produce. Please feel free to get in touch using any of the platforms listed below. You can find me on Instagram or Twitter at, at the underscore offstage underscore me, or you can contact me on any of my videos here or drop me an email, uh, which is listed down below. If you've got products you think I should be looking at, or if there's a way you'd like to support the channel by sponsoring a review or providing an item for review, um, I would love to hear from you. It's your support that makes these videos possible. So thank you for watching. Enjoy your pens and enjoy your pen carry. And I will talk to you soon.